One of the most important things in our lives is the people in our family. Our fathers, mothers, brothers, and sisters play a crucial role in our personal development in our lives. Learning to love the people in our families can help us become more Christ-like and kind towards everyone in our lives. Genesis 24 tells the story of the start of a family. In the modern world, we're used to thinking of marriage and courtship as finding someone you're attracted to, falling in love with them, and then making the decision to start a family. Things have worked a little bit differently during the time of the patriarchs in the Old Testament. When Abraham knew that it was time for his son Isaac to start his own family, he saw the importance of finding a wife who would be able to enter into and keep sacred covenants. Isaac was the heir of the covenant, intended to be a holy man, and holy men need holy women by their sides. Abraham then dispatched his servant to his original country to find a wife for Isaac. The servant traveled all the way to the city of Nahor, where he stopped to water his camels. This was the place where the servant met one of the most remarkable women in all of the Old Testament, Rebekah. While the record does say that Rebekah was very fair to look upon, it was not her beauty that made the servant see her as a good match for Isaac. Rather, it was her selflessness. Rebekah took it upon herself to take care of the servant after his long and difficult journey. She not only gave water to the servant, but offered to draw water for all the servant's camels as well. Now, camels drink a lot of water, and there were 10 camels to take care of. So this was no small act of service. Rebecca must have been a blur of activity as she ran back and forth from the well, seeking to take care of the servant and his animals. After this remarkable act of selflessness, Rebecca also offered to give the servant and his camels a place to stay the night. The servant, who had not yet even revealed his identity as the servant of Abraham, blessed Rebekah in the name of Abraham. The servant traveled to Rebekah's home and saw that Rebekah was part of the very family that he was sent to find. By the time the servant met with Rebekah's family, he knew she was the right person for Isaac. And it didn't have anything to do with her beauty or her family status. It had everything to do with the kind of Christ-like love Rebecca had shown in helping a stranger. Now, whether we are seeking a husband or a wife, one of the most important qualities to look for is someone with a love for others and a desire to serve. And whether you are married or single, remember, you aren't just looking for those qualities, you should also be seeking to develop those qualities in yourself. Modern prophets have spoken about equal partnership in our families. The Lord's model for leading our families and loved ones at home, church, and even in the workplace has always been that the greatest shall be the least and the servant of all. Rebecca showed that she was worthy to share the covenant with Isaac because of the way she dropped everything to take care of someone else and see to their needs. We can become the kind of people who are also worthy to bear the covenant as we set aside our own desires and seek to make life better for the people around us, even complete strangers, because you never know when someone, even a stranger, might hold the key to the next great adventure of your life.